Frontier Community Access Television. Today's game, the Frontier Red Hawks play host of the Greenfield High School Green Wing. Hi again, everyone. This is Chris Collins directly at courtside. Tonight, this is going to be a good one as the Frontier Red Hawks come in, firing on all cylinders off a big win over Mahara on this floor not long ago. Taking on a Greenfield Green Wave team that's got all kinds of talent, lots of athletes, but has not really put together a consistent game plan so far this season. Frontier comes in three up and four down, one and zero in the Hampshire County League North, while the Greenfield Green Wave come in two up and five down, with a one and zero record in the Hampshire County League North. This will be a very interesting contest. I think these two teams probably are the two best teams in this division, and uh, will likely battle it out for the division crown. But the Frontier Redhawks, like I said, coming off a very strong performance against Mahar, and they've had a couple of other strong performances this season as well. Can they put it all together tonight? against the Greenfield Green Wave on their home floor. We're gonna find out momentarily as we go down to the floor for the opening lineups, the starting lineups and the opening tip off for what's gonna be a good one tonight from Good Note Gymnasium in South Deerfield. Happy to have it for you here on Frontier Community Access Television. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Frontier Regional School for tonight's game. Our guests this evening are the Green Wave from Greenfield High School. The member schools of the MIAA cordially welcome you to this game. The students participating in tonight's contest are representing their schools, their families, and themselves. Please encourage these student athletes with your personal display of support and good sportsmanship. Now for tonight's starting lineups. First for Greenfield, at guard, number five, Nate Hazelton. At guard, number 21, Colin Clodier. At center, number 22, Hunter Campbell. At forward, number 11, Jake Sewell. And at forward, number 10, Owen Phelps. Greenfield is coached by Kim Caplice. And now for Frontier, at guard, number one, Alex Sharp. At guard, number two, Kaylin Evans. At center, number 22, Karsten Carey. At forward, number 12, Jerry Muzica. And at forward, number 11, Ben Litskowski. From here, coach by Ben Arzewski. The officials for tonight's, for tonight's game are Jim Cleveland and Mike Colvolpe. We give rise to the play of our national anthem. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Okay, this should be very interesting tonight. As I mentioned, uh, these teams, I think, match up pretty well in terms of athleticism, I think, though, the more consistent scoring attack has been on the front side, tier side of the ball recently. But I had a chance to watch, and I thank Bobby C for filling in for me for that Mahar game. Wish he had been there for that one. That was one of the better performances defensively we've seen from Frontier over the last couple of seasons. Can they match it tonight? And can Greenfield come out and put together a consistent offensive attack? Karsten Carey. We'll jump center for Frontier against Jake Sewell. And Karsten wins the tip, and we are underway. Ball tip back to Alex Sharp. And here comes the Red Hawks. Muzika 
Right side to Ben Lestoski. Back over to Alex. They feed the paint to Carey on the baseline. Jumper off the glass and in for Karsten Carey. 2 0 Frontier. Phelps over to Cloutier. Calling Cloutier. They feed the paint to Sewell. Pick it back out. Now Cloutier on a high post to Camel. Now a jumper for three ball from Owen Phelps. That makes it 3 2 Greenfield. Sharp now. Up ahead. Left side it goes to Lestoski. Carry now. Trying to work on Campbell. Shot at the side of the backboard. Well defended by Hunter. Rebound pulled down by Greenfield. Phelps ahead to Campbell. Hunter. Bounce pass to Cloutier. Cloutier for three. Back iron. No good. Sharp the rebound. Left side it goes to Evans. Top of the key to Musica. Back over to Evans in the corner. And now Lestoski fakes the three. Left corner. And Evans drives the baseline partially blocked. Rebound Sewell. Outlet to Cloutier. Campbell now. Top of the key to Sewell. Fakes the three. Traveled. Well defended by Alex Sharp. Probably should have taken that shot in retrospect. Quick pace to start this game. 3-2 Greenfield. 6.25 to go first quarter. Musica to inbound it for the Hawks. Sharp being guarded by Cloutier. That's going to be the matchup tonight. Right side of Listowski. In the middle of Musica. Musica back out to Listowski to Sharp. Alex now. Right side to Evans. Evans gets the screen. Little pick and roll to Musica off the glass. Too strong. Cloutier the rebound. Cloutier trying to drive through. Bump by Sharp. No call. A lot of contact. Ball ended up almost in the backcourt, but it's put back by Campbell, ahead to Sharp. Alex lays it up and in. A little transition bucket there for Frontier. They take the lead back 4-3. Cudi wants to slow that pace down a little bit. Crosses half court. Left side to Sewell. Back to Cudi, top of the key. Right side to Owen. Owen. Right side to Hazelton. Cloutier fakes the shot. Feeds Campbell top of the key. Good passing by Greenfield. Sewell kicks it back out to Cloutier. One second on the shot clock. He just got it off. And rebound controlled by Greenfield. Great play by Cloutier to follow his own shot. Phelps now. Over to Sewell. Back to Cloutier. To Owen. Owen tried to feed a breaking Sewell on the baseline. Stolen back by Musica. Sharp ahead to Lestowski. The carry. Carry. Pull up jumper off the glass. No good. Karsten follows his own rebound. Bang. 6-3 Frontier. 4.43 to go. Period one. Tremendous frenetic pace to start this game. Cloutier again wants to slow it down a little bit. Get into that half-court offense. Phelps now. Spins away from Evans. Over to Cloutier. Nine to shoot. Cloutier, top of the key. Tricky dribble to Phelps. To Campbell. Campbell, back to Phelps. Owen for three at the buzzer. Off the iron, no good. Carry the rebound. Again, they used all of that 30-second shot clock. Second time in this quarter they've done that. Evans now. Kalen dribbles it back. To Carson at the top of the key. Now Sharp. Little lob down low to the baseline, and then we got a foul, a whistle, and I think it's going to be probably on. It's going to be on. Uh, it's going to be on Hunter Campbell, I believe. Yep, his first team's first. Non shooting. Inbound to Listowski. Left elbow. Driving through his Musica. He's partially blocked on the way up by Campbell. Helps the rebound. Cloutier. The right elbow. Hazelton drives the baseline, got hacked on the way up by Kalen Evans. And Nate will go to the line to shoot a couple. Reminder, this game is being brought to you in part by Raymond Financial Services of South Deerfield on Route 5 and 10. Attorney Dan Graves, Deerfield's town moderator. He's also a practicing attorney in Greenfield and leader home centers 
in locations in southern Vermont and all across Franklin County. Include your out, and Jonath Roman checks into the game for the Greenfield Green Wave. First shot by Hazelden is no good. He'll get one more. Hazelden's second shot is good. 6-4. Sharp now, bringing the ball up for the Red Hawks. Uzika now being guarded by Roman. Nastoski goes into the corner. Back out to Sharp, top of the key. Sharp tries to feed Carey. Back to Sharp. Nastoski drives through. And travel on the way through. Well defended. Again, that was Jake Soul. Absolutely got right in the way. And then forced the turnover. 317 to go in a very quick paced but low scoring first quarter. Roman now. Over to Phelps. 13 seconds to shoot. Phelps trying to feed Roman. Car carry all over him. Roman over to Jared Hart just checked into the game. And now a steal by Frontier. Sharp, right side to Lestowski. Back to Sharp. Alex pulls it back out. Right side to Evans. Carey now on the baseline. Shot too strong. Again, well defended. Rebound control by Greenfield. It was Roman driving through, lays it up off the glass, does not go. And rebound by Phelps. Campbell wants to drive, kicks it back outside to Phelps. Phelps feeds Sewell on the baseline, draws double coverage, and Sewell could not find anybody to pass to. Evans steals the ball. Evans now, driving through. Jumper from the corner, no good. Rebound pulled down by Greenfield. Now Jared Hart, upside to Campbell. Hart, 12 to shoot. Shot hits the side of the backboard, very low percentage shot. Out of bounds, we've got some subs coming in now for Frontier. Orrin Morse checks into the game. Also, Donovan Hoffman will check in. Muzika and Kalen Evans will sit. 1.36 to go in the first quarter. Frontier right now by two points. Sharp now. Right side to Hoffman. Back to Sharp. To Morse. Down low to Lestowski. Back to Morse. Morse. Tricky dribbles. Right side. And this is Hoffman now to Carey. And Carey got a little bit of bump action on the paint. I think Carey got fouled. And that's going to be two quick ones on Hunter Campbell if it is, in fact, on him. Yep, Hunter's going to have to get out of there with two fouls. Back into the game is Phelps. And I told you, Hunter Campbell drew a tall, a real tall uh, assignment. Trying to cover Karsten Carey. Now Carey gets the impound pass on the baseline. Shot a little too strong. No good. Rebound controlled by Greenfield. Right side to Hart. Bounce pass to Phelps. Now cross court to Cloutier again. They're going to pull it back. 51 seconds to go in the first quarter. Roman tries to drive. Spins back to Phelps. Cloutier, three-point bomb. Front iron no good out of bounds, and it's going to be Frontier Basketball with 41.8 seconds left in this first quarter. 30-second shot clock for the Hawks. Sharp now. Right side to Morse. Morse over to Alex. Left side to Hoffman. Nearly traveled. Nastoski in the corner. Back to Hoffman. As they're firing around the perimeter. Cross court to Hoffman. Nine seconds to shoot. Hoffman looking to feed Carey. Got him on the hand, but it went out of bounds. 
And Greenfield will get it back. No shot clock, 17.5 seconds left. A chance to tie or possibly take the lead in the end of this quarter. Hooter now calling up the play. Driving on the left elbow and hemmed up was Hart as he ran into it. Karsten Carey just could not get by him. It's off of Carey, so Greenfield will keep it with 4.9 seconds left in this quarter. Quick inbound pass. Jumper in the paint by Major Meadows is no, Mason Meadows is no good, and that will do it in the quarter. We played one quarter from Good Note Gymnasium on the scoreboard. Frontier 6, Greenfield nothing. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Back out here at Good Note Gymnasium. Entertaining first quarter. A lot of speed, a lot of good ball movement, but not a lot of scoring as the Frontier Red Hawks lead Greenfield by a slim two-point margin, 6-4. to four. Karsten Carey and Alex Sharp combining for all the scoring for Frontier. Four points for Carey and a two-point layup for Alex Sharp. As both teams playing some pretty good defense in that first quarter. Owen Phelps inbound right in front of us. And Cloutier running the point for Greenfield. Dan Vega just checked into the game for Greenfield. Hunter Campbell now with the two fouls is in there. Cloutier in a high post to Phelps. Now Sewell a three-pointer, back iron no good. Carey crashes the board. And they're gonna get Dan Vega on a foul as Vega collided with Carey. As Carey clearly had the rebound and Vega just kind of bumped him a little bit. His first foul, team's third. Now a little bit of uh, pressure by Greenfield. Lestoski into Sharp. Sharp runs it right side to Donovan. Try to feed Carey high post. And Carey hacked on the way up. And if that is, that's going to be three on Hunter. And it'll be hacked in the act. So Karsten Carey will go to the line. So Hunter Campbell, three fouls. they got to get him out of there. Again, and Hunter, I think, probably is the only guy on this team with the size to be able to, to hang with Carey in the paint. And he still gives him way several inches in terms of height. But first foul shot by Carey is good. He'll get one more. And he gets them both. 8-4 Frontier. Green Wave. Got to find an answer here offensively. Vega now, in the middle of Roman. Left side to Sewell. Tight man-to-man -man coverage by, this is exactly what they did to Mahara the other night as well, although they also used a matchup zone that was pretty effective. Roman traveled, took a walk, trying to get around uh, the defense of Owen Morse. And for the first time, at least that I've seen this year, the Frontier six man is in the house. They, this is a big rivalry game, big divisional game, and the sixth man is here. Morris now to Listowski, top of the key, and wave that basket, travel. Ben's gonna argue it, but not gonna get anywhere with that. Vega is back out of the game, and back into the game, is Nate Hazleton for Greenfield. Cloutier again, setting it up. Left side it goes to Hazleton, back to Roman. Roman feeds the paint to Hazleton, baseline jumper is good, that was a nice pass. And well positioned was Nate Hazleton to accept it. Eight six, Frontier by two. 6.30 to go in the half. Morse, jumper, bah! Three-pointer. Owen Morse, very confident taking that shot. Cloutier, left side to Hazleton. Roman to Sewell. Back out to Roman. Roman gets a screen. Throws it to Sewell, not a great pass, but he saved it at Sewell. Hazleton blocked on the baseline with authority by Carey. 
Greenfield will keep it, but they only have one second on the shot clock. Ben Barashevsky is furiously screaming out the assignment. Inbound to Cloutier with one second on the clock, and they made it count. Timeout Greenfield. That was well executed, and not great defensive set there by Frontier. We'll take a break. 5.49 to go in a half. It is Frontier 11 and Greenfield 8. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. So that exchange did not end the way that Frontier wanted it to. You can't quite let someone like Colin Cloutier sneak in the back door like that with one second on the shot clock, and he got that layup. That's a big, big bucket for Greenfield. Early stage of this game as they trail only by three now. Lestoski is out there, Carey, Hoffman, Morse, and Sharp. The five on the floor for Frontier. Ooh, Morse very nearly lost it. Get it back though. Morse being guarded by Hazelton to Hoffman. And again, a little bit of a Touch foul, well, let's see what they call here. Yeah, it's gonna be on Roman. That was a, a hand check foul. Very, very incidental looked like to me. Tim Cape was not happy about it. Greenfield head coach. Sharp inbounds to Hoffman. Hoffman spots up for three, good. <laughs> and the chant goes up, he's a sophomore. <laughs> <laughs> Hoffman stolen by steals it away from Roman and he is a sophomore great pass to Morris breaking on the baseline lays it up and in what a pass by Donovan Hoffman to Jer Owen Morris the youngsters getting it done for Frontier now it's an 8 point Red Hawk lead Roman to Phelps in a high post to Hazleton, to Sewell, back to Hazleton, back to Sewell. They're just sort of playing with it down there on the baseline. Nowhere to go. Roman now spins through, dish pass down low. Shot no good, put back, follow is good by Owen Phelps. Sharp ahead to Morse. Hoffman. Muzika to Carey, Carey. Blocked on the way up. Nicely done by Greenfield. They put three guys on Karsten Carey. Count it one. As oh, they're going to call an offensive foul. Yeah, well blocked. Offensive foul on Colin Cloutier. That gets the Frontier fans pumped up. That's the sixth team foul on Greenfield. First on Cloutier. Well drawn by the Frontier defender. And they inbound it to Morse. Morse now running the point to Musica, top of the key. Hoffman spins back away, try to lob it in to Carey. Timing just wasn't there on that one. Greenfield will get it back. 4-4 to go in a half, 16-10. Hawks by six. Cloutier now to Hazleton. Back to Cloutier. That's Jared Hart now. On the right side to Meadows, Mason Meadows. And it's going to be a foul on him. Mason Meadows is one of the two freshmen on this team. Here comes Morse. Right side to Kalen Evans just into the game. Evans trying to pick and roll with Carey. Carey hits the floor, saves it though. Keeps it alive just for a second though. And Muzik is able to keep it in. Great play. Oh, they're going to say over and back. Uh, they're going to say Muzik has stepped in the line. Oh, they call it timeout. Sorry. Timeout on the floor will take the break. All kinds of activity in this one. 325 to go in the half. Frontier 16, 
Greenfield 10, this is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Reminder, both these teams have 1-0 records in the Hampshire North, and the winner of this game will take over sole possession of first place in the Hampshire League North. Taking a quick look at the standings in the North Division. Frontier right now has one more win than Greenfield, so they're technically on top. <coughs> Smith Academy is in East Hampton tonight. They're in third place with a three and four record and a one and one in the league. I have a funny feeling East Hampton's gonna have their way with them in that game. Clutier now up ahead off the steal and is stripped on the way up again by Donovan Hoffman. What a, what a game he's had already. Morris now. Right side to Hoffman. Hoffman feeds Carey off the glass. Again, too strong, well defended. <laughs> Rebound controlled by Greenfield. <coughs> Cloutier now. Right side to Hart. Hart to Hazelson, right elbow. Back to Hart. Left side to Collin. To Meadows. Meadows. Back to Flutier. Two seconds to shoot. Collins skip step to Hart. 30 second violation. Great defense by Frontier. And again, Greenfield's run a pretty deliberate offensive set, but in that case, that was just lockdown D on the part of the Frontier Red Hawks. Will lead by six. Sharp now. Right side to Evans. And a steal by Owen Phelps. Again, not a great pass there. Cloutier with it now. Cloutier in a high post to Phelps. Phelps no one to pass to. He'll just take the jumper. Spins out. Refield's not moving to the ball or away from the ball very well. Evans now. Stops, kicks back to Muzika. Muzika fakes the jumper. Hoffman now. Defeats Carey. Carey off the glass. No good. Out of bounds. It's going to be, again, well defended. That was Mason Meadows, who's got some height. Greenfield has doubled down on Karsten Carey very well in this quarter. They made an adjustment clearly. After Carey seemed to have his way in the first quarter, not so much in this quarter. Inbound pass tipped by Sewell. Nicely done. Over to Hart. Hart to Cloutier. Sewell now to Hart. Hart trying to work on Evans. Over to Cloutier. Phelps now. Cross court to Sewell, a little high. And they're going to get Muzika on a foul. I'll tell you, Greenfield is not moving and allowing many options for passes. It's the first foul on Muzika, second on the team. 125 to go and a half. Six points lead for Frontier, 16-10. Roman now stops. Has the jumper, hits it. Can't lay off him like that. And they just laid off him for a half second, and that's what you see what happens. 16-12, Frontier by four. Hoffman now. Trying to feed Carey, and again, well anticipated by Roman. Every time they try to lob it into Carey, there's a two or three Greenfield players, they're waiting. They know who they've got to cover. Phelps now on the baseline. Back to Roman. Roman. Rejected by Carey. Roman hits the floor. Greenfield keeps the ball. Ten seconds to shoot. Sewell. Boudier. Trying to drive through. Kent. Dished on the baseline, shot no good. Hoffman the rebound, 28 seconds to go. Shot clock, game clock almost in sync. Hoffman. And they're gonna call a blocking foul on Cooter. He can't believe it. He thought he drew a foul on Hoffman for a charge. They're not gonna get it though, and that's gonna be a one and one. He's rid of the bonus now. So Donovan Hoffman with a chance to extend this lead. 
20.2 seconds left. Very, very low scoring game, a defensive struggle. Donovan makes the first, he'll get one more. That makes the lead five. Hoffman's second one does not go. Carey gets the rebound, the putback is good. That makes the lead seven, 15 seconds left. Cloutier trying to drive through, and he got fouled by Hoffman, who puts his hands up. Greenfield fans kind of a mock call, a mock cheer there for the call. Cloutier thought they got the wrong guy last time, this time they got Hoffman. And that's gonna be the third team foul, Hoffman's first. Cloutier's first shot does not go. We'll get one more. This has been as good as expected. Including your second shot, that does not go. Carry the rebound, outlet pass. Up ahead for Evans, never saw it coming. And it's gonna be Greenfield ball. That was just a little bit too fast. Greenfield will get it back with 4.0 seconds left. 19-12, Frontier by seven, so Green Frontier will take a lead to the, the break, but how much it will be will be determined in the next four seconds. Hart to inbound to Cloutier. Cloutier, Sewell lets it fly at the buzzer, does not go, and that will do it in the half. We played one half from Good No Gymnasium. At the half, it is Frontier 19, Greenfield 12. Second half action upcoming. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. We are at the half at Goodno Gymnasium and the Frontier Red Hawks lead the Greenfield Green Wave by a count of 19 to 12. Interesting first half, very high paced as we expected, not a hugely high scoring first half. Good defense on both sides of the ball. Karsten Carey leads Frontier with eight points and uh, Greenfield's done got a long way to try and uh, guard him. Hunter Campbell, who was originally supposed to guard Karsten Carey in this game, is in foul trouble with three fouls on the bench. Five points for Owen Morris, four for Donovan Hoffman. Very strong Donovan Hoffman performance off the bench. And Alex Sharp has two points for the Red Hawks. For Greenfield, uh, five points for Owen Phelps, three for Nate Hazleton, two for Jonathan Roman, and two for Colin Cluder. That's all the scoring for Greenfield right now as Frontier has walked down the defense. I think Greenfield's played some good D2, especially uh, on Karsten Carey. Even though he's got eight points and leads all scorers in the game, he could easily have had double that had it not been for the defense of the Greenfield Greenway. Second half action upcoming on Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. As we get ready to start the second half, 
some games of note upcoming on our schedule. McCann Tech girls will be in this building Thursday night to take on the Frontier Red Hawks. Alex Sharp and Karsten Carey will have the call for you on this same FCAT channel. Also, coming up next Wednesday the 17th, Smith Academy Falcons come to Goodnote Gymnasium to take on the Frontier Red Hawks. That'll be a simulcast game, FCAT and Bear Country. And Jeff Trail and I will be here for that one. That should be a good one. As again, that's another Hampshire County League North matchup. Frontier Red Hawks managed to hold Greenfield to 12 points in this first half. Can they continue that trend and come away with another win? It'll be the third consecutive win. Second consecutive one on this floor. Stoski inbounds to Sharp. Frontier moving left to right. Here we go. Uzika now. Back to Sharp. Ustoski feeds Carey, draws double coverage, back to Ben. Ben, jumpers, good, and that's the three. On the left elbow. And suddenly it's a 10-point lead, largest so far for the Hawks, 22-12. Good here now, left side to Hazleton. Back over to Meadows. Mason, high post to Phelps. Phelps trying to work on Carey, kicks it back out to Sewell. Hazelton inside to Phelps. Jumper is good over Karsten Carey. Owen Phelps, big bucket there. Sharp left side to Listowski. To Muzika. Sharp now. Weave by Frontier. Sharp. Left side to Evans. Nine to shoot. Back to Kalen. Kalen for three, front iron no good. And Muzika tries to tip it loose, but Cloutier controls it. Here comes Cloutier. Walking it up. Sewell now, top of the key. Inside to Cloutier, up to Sewell. 10 seconds to shoot. Sewell looking for someone to pass to. Phelps, knocked loose by Sharp. Jumper from the corner by Lestoski is no good. Evans the rebound, Lestoski tries to feed Muzika on the baseline, it's gonna be a foul on Owen Phelps. As Owen got a hand on the jersey. They're gonna bring Hunter Kimball back in, they really don't have much choice at this point. Even with the three fouls, so. Make an adjustment here. Gonna put Phelps on carry. Uzika, inbounds to Carey. Carey tries to feed the baseline, it's up on Sharp's hands, shot no good. Evans, great rebound, good athletic move. Kostoski to Karsten, Karsten, turn around Jay off the glass and in. Almost impossible to defend that when he goes strong like that and leads back up to 10, 24-14. 5.44 to go third quarter. Cloutier. Greenfield is not moving to the ball or away from the ball very well. Sewell now. Trying to run right side. Bounce pass to Cloutier. Cloutier spots up for three. Does not go. Uzika battle for the rebound. Hazel rips it away. And the possession arrow will favor Greenfield. Nate to inbound for Greenfield. Lobs it to Sewell, left elbow. Sewell to Cloutier. Left side to Sewell. 18 seconds to shoot. Cloutier trying to penetrate somehow. Campbell now on a high post. And it goes right through Owen Phelps' hands. So right now, Frontier has got Greenfield locked down. They cannot even get a pass. And there's still have only put two points on the board this third quarter. Sharp to Evans, to Carey, back to Sharp. Loses control temporarily. Alex stops to Evans, 13 to shoot. Evans drives through, hook shot is good! 
Kalen Evans, almost like a running one-hand scooper. And Tim Capeless wants to talk about it. Timeout on the floor, we'll take the break. 4.39 to go in the third quarter. It is Frontier 26, Greenfield 14. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. This broadcast of Frontier Red Hawk Basketball is being brought to you in part by Raymond Financial Services of South Deerfield. Call them for all your financial needs. Attorney Dan Graves, he is the town moderator in Deerfield. He is also a Greenfield practicing attorney and also by Leader Home Centers. Locations in Southern Vermont and Western Mass. So Greenfield needs to get something going here offensively, but Frontier Red Hawks have not made it easier at all for the Wave tonight. They have played strong defense. Phelps to Cloutier. Hazel to Dow being hassled. Right side it goes to Phelps again. As they're passing on, now they feed Campbell in the paint. Kicks it back out. <laughs> Cloutier goes to the floor looking like Curly Neal from the Globetrotters on that one. Now Campbell kicks it back. Hazleton for three with two seconds left on the shot clock, and he makes it. But Greenfield's using every bit of that shot clock. Carry now. Foul on the floor as he got hit by Hazleton as he was trying to go to the line. That's the first team foul of the half for Greenfield on Nate. Actually, it's going to be on Phelps, his second. Sharp, we're going to throw it in. Lobs it back out to Listowski. Ben to Alex. Morse now. Shot no good. Musica the rebound. Kicks it back out to Ben. Ben for three. Yes. Uh, ben Listowski starting to heat up from the outside. And once they get that inside out game going, it's awful tough. That's a 12-point lead for Frontier. 29-17. 3.40 to go in the third. Cloutier in a high post to Campbell. To Nate Hazleton. Again, tight man to man by the Hawks. Phelps to Sewell. Sewell deep in three-point lane. Wants to work on Morse. Shut off. Back out to Cloutier. Three seconds left on the shot clock. And it's going to be a steal again for Frontier. They're making him work every second of that shot clock. And they steal it. Two seconds left. Carey. Turnaround jumper in the lane. Is good. And right now the Hawks are starting to run away with it. That's their largest lead. 14 points. And they are strangling Greenfield offensively. Hunter Campbell, the high post, out to Hazleton. Gets a screen. Cloutier now with it right side. Baseline pass to Phelps. Into Campbell, and finally Campbell gets some daylight. Lays it up and in. 31-19 now. Phelps picked Morris's pocket for a second, but it's still going to be frontier ball. Hoffman in, Lestowski out. Roman is back in for Greenfield. Also back into the game is Jared Hart, who had some solid minutes in that first half. Carry on the baseline to Sharp on the baseline, lays it up and in. So Alex Sharp has the camp down low. 33-19, everybody getting into the act here for the Hawks tonight. Roman backs it out. Phelps to Hart. Back to Phelps to Roman. Roman's going to go strong in. Shot no good. Carry the rebound. Outlet to Morse. Morse will bring it back. Hand it off to Sharp. We'll set up the offense. 151 to go, third quarter. 33-19. Hawks by 14. And they're going to call Giovanni Roman with a Jonah Roman, excuse me, with a reach in. That's his second team's third. Frontier has yet to come into foul in this half. Uzika to throw it in. The Frontier to Sharp. 
between the circles. Sharp trying to get away from Roman. Roman falls down. That fires up the fifth man. Muzika to Sharp cross court. Sharp for three, partially blocked by Roman. Rebound controlled by Frontier, though. In the corner, Muzika, front iron no good. Hoffman tips for it. And the rebound's pulled down by Phelps. Phelps lobs it ahead to Hart. Hart kicks it back out to Campbell. Top of the key to Roman. Left side to Sewell. Sewell to Phelps. Campbell spots up for three. Good. Hunter Campbell suddenly has five points in this half. Time out on the floor. We'll take the break. 58.4 seconds to go in the third quarter on the scoreboard. It's Frontier 33 and Greenfield 22. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. So Hunter Campbell buries the three from the left elbow, and that uh, gives some, <laughs> some time for uh, Greenfield to talk it over a bit. Hawks have played great defense tonight. They really have. Again, the defense will be the, what spurs this team on. And uh, inbound pass goes to Morris. Morris hands it off to Muzika. Up into the front court to Hoffman. Back to Morris. The youngsters are out there now to set things up. Morris. Right side to Sharp. Sharp runs cross court. Carry in a high post. Carey over to Morse. It's a screen. Morse for three. Rims out, no good. Phelps the rebound. Now it to Campbell, back to Phelps. Roman now. Spins back out. Bounce pass down low. Steal though. Nicely done by, again by Donovan Hoffman. Sharp. Blocked on the way up. Battle for it. Ball's knocked loose. Roman comes away with it. 15 seconds left in the third quarter. And a whistle and a foul. The hold away from the ball, it looks like. And uh, it's going to be Greenfield ball. And they're going to get uh, Alex Sharp, his first foul. Team's first in the half. Sharp is out. Hoffman is out. Back in is Listowski and Kalen Evans. 8.7 seconds left. Greenfield inbound. They throw it out to Roman. Fires it up, shot no good, carry the rebound. That will do it in the quarter. Oh, and he almost nailed it when it counted, though. We have played three quarters from Good No Gymnasium and then to three. It is Frontier 33, Greenfield 22. Fourth quarter action upcoming. Red Hawk basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Reminder also coming up this week on FCAT Sports. We got some wrestling action coming up Wednesday night. Maybe the last wrestling meet we're able to get to this season. And we also are making plans to cover at some point Greenfield High School Hockey. I know, Greenfield High School Hockey and FCAT. Well, on that Greenfield High School cooperative team, which includes all students from Franklin County this year, there are quite a few Frontier Red Hawks. So we are going to... Uh, do we can to get to at least one or maybe two of those games in the historic Collins Boylan Arena. And if you've never been to one of those games, wear wool socks. It's very cold in that rink. But uh, it'd be good to be able to call some hockey for TV, which I have not done yet. Pistoski now to throw it in. Start the fourth quarter for Frontier. Morse now. Spins away from the containment. Left side to Evans. Kalen now. Back to Owen. Right side to Ben. Uh, Evans runs cross court. Spins away. 11 to shoot. Stosky to Evans. Top of the key. Evans pull up jumper from 12 is good. Kalen Evans has four points in this game. 35-22. Lead back up to 13. 
Campbell now. Back to Cloutier. Right side to Phelps. Phelps to Sewell. Top of the key to Cloutier. And Hunter Campbell with kind of a hook shot. No good, but he gets keeps the rebound alive, though. Phelps. Jumper blocked by Carey. And Morris up ahead to Lestoski. Got stripped on the way up. They're going to say he was the last one to touch it, though. So Greenfield will keep it. Go to here now. Cross his half court. Right side to Phelps. Phelps to Cloutier. Cross court to Sewell. Sewell on the right elbow. Carey jumps out on him. Now Sewell, a jumper. Off the pass from Campbell is no good. Evans the rebound. Kalen driving through, lays it up, goes all the way, coast to coast. 37-22, 15-point lead for the Hawks, their largest in this game. 6.15 to go in regulation. Sewell now. The Hazelton baseline. Nice feed to Campbell, lays it up and in. Hunter Campbell has come alive in this second half. Got seven points. Now a little bit of pressure being applied by the guards of Greenfield. Broken. Uzika with a travel. And he was breaking to the basket. Substitution, Mason Meadows checking in. And Jake Sewell will sit for Greenfield. Clutier now. Very deliberate, walking it up the floor. Top of the key to Phelps. Phelps to Meadows. Trying to work on Carey. Now Hunter Campbell, a deep three, all net. Hunter Campbell, after missing a good chunk of that first half in foul trouble, has come alive in the second half. Ten points. Ahead to Lestowski now. Lestowski trying to feed Karsten Carey on the baseline. Timeout, though. We will take it. 5.22 to go in the game. Frontier 37, Greenfield 27. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins, Alec Eckel, and Kevin Murphy out here at Goodno Gymnasium as the Red Hawks hold on, holding on to a 10-point lead over the Rika Green Wave. Hawks looking to win their third straight, their second consecutive one. And of course, they beat Bahar pretty handily the other night using defense to smother the usually normally high-powered Mohawk or Mahar uh, Senators, rather. And of course, they're coming off the big win over Mohawk as well the previous week. So Frontier Red Hawks doing well as they head down toward the second half of the season. Lestowski off the inbound pass from Sharp hits the layup. 39-27. Phelps left side to Hazelton, back to Hunter Campbell, top of the key. Campbell driving through, a sort of a running hook shot, but he got fouled on the way through. And that's going to be on Listowski, his first team second. Inbound to Cloutier. Left side to Hazelton. Phelps now in a high post to Campbell. Campbell tried to scoop it down low to a breaking Hazelton on the baseline. And it's out of bounds. And it's frontier ball. Muzika throws it in. It's sharp. There's some more pressure in the backcourt by Greenfield. Sharp to Carey. Travel. As Carey is surrounded every time he touches the ball on that inbound pass, and that time he traveled. 4.40 to go. 12 point frontier lead. Does Greenfield have one last charge in it to get back into this game before time runs out? 
Boudier lobs it over to Phelps. Cross court to Campbell. Campbell for three, and it goes. It spun back. And Hunter Campbell, three threes in this half. And 13 points. And that cuts the lead to nine. And a jumper by Evan is no good. Fans screaming for a double dribble. Ball knocked loose. Carey ends up with it. Karsten ahead to Sharp. Sharp gets bottled up. Greenfield takes it away. Boudier. Ball tipped loose. Carey hits the floor looking after it. And Sharp comes away with it. 3.45 to go. Frontier by nine. Ken Greenfield come all the way back. They've only led once in this game. Muzika now, top of the key, out to Evans. Evans, back over to Listowski, to Muzika, eight to shoot. Evans, jumper, three ball is good. Timeout Frontier, 3.21 to go in the game. Red Hawks by 12. Frontier 42, Greenfield 30. Red Hawk basketball and Frontier Community Access Television. Big three there by Kalen Evans. Extends the lead for Frontier to 12 points. 42-30. The story of the second half, though, for Greenfield has been Hunter Campbell, who has gone off 13 points in this half after missing most or a good chunk of that first half in foul trouble. After drawing three fouls, trying to guard Karsten Carey, they've spread the floor a bit and given Hunter some looks. And he's given them a chunk of points, accounting for... 13 of the 18 points that Greenfield has scored in this half. So look for big number 22 to get the call quite a bit. Phelps down to Roman. Back to Phelps. Phelps, left side it goes to Hazelton. Hook shot in the lane is no good. Mistoski the rebound to Sharp. Stosky now, high post to Muzika. Back over to Sharp. Stosky. Carry now on the baseline, feed to Muzika, lays it up and in. That's Jared's first points of the game. 44 30, Frontier by 14. 2.39 to go. Roman travels. <laughs> and the Frontier sixth man never hesitates to let a player hear that when they travel. Inbound to Sharp. Sharp dribbles it back. Right side to Evans. Evans will give and go with Carey. Muzika winds up with it. Carey, pull up jumper, front of the iron, no good. Here they have defended him well. Muzika gets the rebound, fresh 30 for Frontier. Sharp pulls it out, Evans now. Evans, Sharp. Muzika in the paint, back out to Carey. Carey in a high post. Carey blocked on the way up. They're gonna say that Meadows got him on the hand. So the big man, Karsten Carey, with a chance to make this a 16 point lead if he makes them both. I mean, Karsten Carey has had 12 points in this game, but you gotta admit, Greenfield has defended and contained him pretty well. First foul shot is good, he'll get one more. That would make it a 16 point lead with 2.02 to go. Tough to come back from that, but especially given the way the Hawks have played defense, we'll see. Carey's second shot is good. Makes them both. 46-30, time running out of the wave. Goodyear. Roman takes it back to Campbell. Hunter over to Roman. Campbell in a high post. Takes it back out. Meadows, jumper, an air ball. But they're going to call a foul away from the ball, I think. It's going to be on Listowski, I believe. And Listowski cleared somebody out underneath. It's still going to be non shooting. Yep, his second. Team's third. Cloutier to inbound. Throws it into Campbell. Campbell. Wrap around pass to Meadows. Back to Roman. 
Roman drives through. Hit on the way up by Karsten Carey. That is a size mismatch. But Roman went in strong knowing he was going to get hit. And so it's going to be two shots for Roman. First one's good. We'll get one more. That makes the score 46-31. Frontier by 15. 136 left. I'm going to bring in Hazleton. Clodier will take a seat. Roman's second shot is upcoming. And that one's good. Makes them both. And Roman will come out. And Dan Vega back into the game for Greenfield. 46-32, 136 to go in the game. 14-point lead for Red the Red Hawks. Inbound to Carey as the full court press is on. They're able to break it though. Sharp crosses the timeline. Sharp spinning away from containment to Evans. Evans goes up strong. Lays it up and in. What a play by Evans as Mason Meadows defended him about as well as you can, and he still got through and made the shot. What a play. Hunter Campbell now to Phelps. Phelps back to Hunter. Hunter spots up with a quick three ball. No good. Hazleton goes like a whirling dervish trying to get the rebound. Out of bounds. It's going to be off of him and Yuzika throw it in for the Red Hawks with a minute to go. Hawks going to win this game. Carey gets the inbound pass. And it's knocked loose. Campbell up ahead to Phelps. And here comes the chance to warm up the bus. That'll be less of a challenging proposition now than it was a few days ago. Vega to throw it in for Greenfield. Lobs it out to Phelps. Ends up in the hands of Meadows, though. Meadows tries to drive through. Hook shot in the lane. Does not go. Music of the rebound. And we are going to have a timeout. And I think we're going to see some substitutions. As this one is pretty much in the books. The Red Hawks are going to go not only up in the division, well, on the record. They'll move to 4-4. Four and four. They'll be 2-0 and oh in the league and in first place. Regardless of what happens in East Hampton with Smith Academy. Tonight, Smith Academy is 1-1 one one in the league. And if they lose, then they'll be in third place. And Trent Greenfield will drop to second place in the Hampshire County League North. And again, we've been saying all along that Frontier is expected to win this division. Expected to be the class of the HL North. But I think that this performance tonight, with Greenfield being probably the second best team in that league, uh, more evidence of that. This is Frontier's division. New Frontier players coming in. Brandon Robinson. And also in there is Tim Barrington. And Barrington gets the inbound pass. Up ahead to Padavina. Shot up and in by Zach Nerminger. 50-32. 30 seconds left. And a three-pointer from Mason Meadows is good. 18 seconds left. Inbound pass to Robinson. Up ahead to Padovino. Padovino will go up strong. Nice block by Meadows. Out of bounds. It's going to be Greenfield ball with 6.8 seconds left. Fifteen thirty-five. Phelps for three. Does not go. That's how it will end. Final score from Good No Gymnasium. Frontier Red Hawks 50. Greenfield Green Wave 35. We'll come back and wrap it up on Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by 
Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barrie, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Well, the Red Hawk Express continues to roll the final score. The Frontier Red Hawks, big winners over Greenfield tonight, 50-35. to Solid performance again defensively by the Red Hawks, holding the wave, 35 points, only 12 points in the first half. Leading scorer for the Green Wave was Hunter Campbell. Campbell ended up with 13 points in the game, all in the second half. Seven points for Owen Phelps, six for Nate Hazleton, four for Jonathan Roman, three for Mason Meadows, and two for Colin Cloutier. For the Red Hawks, leading scorer was Karsten Carey. He had 14 points. He could have probably had double that, but Greenfield defended Karsten very well in this game. Kalen Evans had 11 points all in the second half, eight for Ben Listowski, five for Owen Morse, Four for Donovan Hoffman, who I thought played very, very strong off the bench, especially in the first half. Four for Alex Sharp, who ran the point very well. And two points for Jared Musica, and two points for Zach Nurminger in uh, the final minutes off the bench. So Frontier moves now to 4-4 four and four overall, 2-0 and oh in the Hampshire County League North. And with this win, they take over sole possession of first place in the HL North. Their next action on these television waves will be Wednesday the 17th, as the Smith Academy Falcons come to town, that'll be a simulcast game with Bear Country. will be on the air with it for you on the same FCAT station and also on the FCAT media page at YouTube.com. Final score, Frontier 50, Greenfield 35. That'll do it for South Deerfield. Thanks for watching and listening to Frontier Community Access Television.